Armin new at nine, the SWAT team along with the Drug Task Force and several police agencies raced to Mayflower this afternoon after an attempted robbery ended in gunfire. Police say they arrested the man within an hour, but they had to go through great extremes to get that suspect in custody. This all happened outside of one man's home and Riley Birdwell talked to him this afternoon. She joins us now with the story and where police stand with the situation tonight. Riley. Well, Donna, right now police tell us that they responded to a shots fired call here in Mayflower where it was an attempted robbery actually that was taking place where one person was shot on East Ridge Road. Now they say the suspect fled the scene, which led to an hour long manhunt. And then they said the person who whose driveway that it happened in, he tells us the entire story. I don't know it's happened so fast. A quiet Monday afternoon interrupted by gunfire after an alleged attempted robbery happened in Lisa Price's driveway. I hear gunshots out here and uh, I come out here and he's him and my buddy Josh Miller and my buddy Ivy are running around the truck. According to police, it all began when the suspect Joshua Miller tried to rob the man as he was working outside of Price's home. There was a scuffle and Miller shot the victim. When police arrived to the home, Miller was nowhere to be found. Uh, he just fled on foot, not in a vehicle or anything, got within less than a mile from the house. We thought he went down through the backyard, but he jumped the freeway, I guess. I'm going, you want me to look here? You want me to go and try to help you find him? Can I run him over if I see him? Police say they had to cross the interstate with canine officers, and at the road where it all happened, there was heavy law enforcement presence consisting of over five agencies, including state police and the SWAT team. At one time, we had a, a man running around with a gun. We didn't know where he was, uh, so we were asking people to shelter in place, lock their doors, stay inside. Now, as Lisa steps back to process what happened in his driveway, he says it's a scary world to live in. I can't believe all the shootings going on there so quick to shoot uh, somebody. All the shootings has happened. Now, police say that the suspect had no relation to the victim and that the suspect was semi local. Now, police say that he has been taken into custody and he's going to be charged with attempted first degree murder, terroristic act, aggravated robbery and other felony and misdemeanor charges. Reporting live in Mayflower, I'm Riley Birdwell, Fox 16 News.